What is going on, guys? Welcome back to the Winter Circle Sports Podcast. You might notice some changes around here, starting off with Nardi's brand new haircut. Other ways, other words, otherwise, we've got a brand new setup, and we're going to try our best to see how it works. Nardi, I would like to start off this episode with an apology. Mm. I would like to apologize that I gave Joe a grand introduction last episode, and I didn't give you one. I, it's more than fine. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> no, it's not. So it's today, fine, it's fine, it's fine. Today, I would like everybody to introduce my wonderful co-host, one of Sea Caucus Fire Department's bravest, a multi-sport athlete at Montclair State University. He represents a 50% share of this year's fantasy football winnings. He's one Owned of by old- yours truly. <laughs> <laughs> Winter Circle fucking franchise. Got to rename that. He's one of the Caucus <laughs> fucking football league. Got to rename that. He's one of the original members of the Miss G clan. Not sponsored by Sunkiss, by the way. <laughs> He's my best pal, and I love him. Nardi, happy birthday, man. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. Let's do a pod. Yankees, Twins, which Nardi was fortunate to go to the second game, which we will talk about. But let's get into game one, which was not as fortunate for the Yanks. Yeah, so um, if you know, it was all over the internet because Johnny Brito, who's been lights out so far this year, goes in, lets up a nine-run first inning. I think the final score is 11-2. to two. Rizzo hits two meaningless solo shots, yeah. which could have been avoided if Brito didn't let up nine runs in the first inning. Mm-hmm. But – after that, our bullpen did pretty well, trying to keep it where it was at. IKF, pitcher of the day, comes in on the relief. Uh, slowest pitch in Yankees history with a 38-mile-an-hour EFIS. <laughs> I didn't know that. <laughs> I think Johnny O throws harder. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. Shot, unnecessary shots fired. But also, I would just like to say that the Twins hit back-to-back-to-back home runs against the Yankees the last year, yeah. and the Yankees won that game. Mm-hmm. So there was a chance that you could win that game. The Twins, still. I heard now, this is what Talking Baseball said mm-hmm. on their Instagram. I was looking, sitting in my car reading this before mm-hmm. I picked you up. Mm-hmm. They said Minnesota is the new epicenter of baseball, that this team is first in the MLB. They just re-signed two very good pitchers. They re-signed their coach. Would you consider them the epicenter of baseball? Because I think that is some insane meat riding right there. Yeah. I'm not going to lie. Doesn't that mean like that's where everybody wants <laughs> yeah. to go? Yeah, like that's the center of baseball. That's like all roads lead to fucking Minneapolis. <laughs> like, it's got to be one of the worst things I've ever heard. Yeah, no, nah, that's a gold take. I don't know, man. That that was that was horrible. Yeah. That was really bad. I don't know. I still think the epicenter of baseball is Los Torres. Yeah. The Dodgers, well, I would say Yankees, New York Mets, City. Yeah, New York City. New York is becoming a yeah. very big thing. For every, every sport. Every Absolutely. sport in the tri-state area has been really good. All have been so. in the playoffs this year, I believe. Yeah. First time in 20 years every team has made the playoffs. So we should really be getting more views on this channel because <laughs> this is we are the Winter Circle, the epicenter of sports Step podcast. Step it up, motherfucker. <laughs> and Nardi's mom's got to tell her friends. <laughs> um, so game two, you went. Tell us a little bit about that one. Yeah, so this was really fun. Me, Close my brother, game. and two of our friends went. And uh, we sat in section 205, which is it was a great view. the last section in 200 right before the bleachers. Like if you look over the rail and mm-hmm. we're like next to the bleachers. Started nice. the first inning with the roll call. Roll call was cool. First time I've sat. Well, that's not the first time I've been in that area. Love that's the first time call. I sat in. 205, so it was really cool. Yeah. Foul pull was there. Game starts. One, two, three, first inning. I'm going fucking crazy. And then <laughs> Anthony Volpe, mind you, I called this. If you watch the video on our TikTok, I actually called the home run. I know I was screaming it in the video, but I said to the kid who I brought with me, Julian, he, I'm like, he's hit four leadoff home runs in spring training. Yeah. He, uh, he's got some pop. This kid is making his debut for the year. And what do you know? First you fucking bat swing bat of the bat. game. <laughs> you got to bat Oh, bat. I have to. I should have. Yeah. Yeah. First swing of the game, he puts one over the left field fence. Awesome While me moment. and Julian are still going absolutely berserk over the Volpe home run, <laughs> Judge's first swing of the game also goes right <laughs> yeah. into the bleachers in right field. And we yeah. were going ape shit. Yeah. Unfortunately, though, we couldn't hold on to the lead. Mm-hmm. Uh, Stanton hit a home run late in the game. Make it. It was three. T- he tied it. 3-3. Three, three. Mm-hmm. And then Clay Holmes, who's been continuing his end-of-season form from last year, not yeah. the start, mm-hmm. has been really shaky, gives up, I think it was bases, uh, he had uh, second and third or something, Wandy comes in, strikes out two, and then gives up a single, unfortunately. Mm-hmm. So it was second and third or base load with no outs? It was no, it was, that was his big jam? It was no outs. Mm-hmm. And Wandy, uh, 
Wandy did good to get out of it, but unfortunately gave yeah. up a run. And yeah. then Oswaldo Cabrera Happens. hit into a double play in the ninth, and we couldn't get out of that one. Yeah. So, do you want to go back and forth, you said? Yeah, yeah. oh, yeah. my so, fault. Well, those yeah. were the, well, yeah, the it's, first it's two. It's fine, because okay. Yankees had a four, Mets had a three, so yeah. go for it. But I was watching that game in the ninth inning, like, please, please walk it off. Yeah. Because I know you didn't leave early, and I know nobody was nope. Like, I was like, please, please. And then, like you said, the double play, I just remembered. Friday night in the Bronx, <sighs> place stinks. was packed. Yeah, that, oh, that was Oh, I should have brought Tino. Oh, I got a Tino Martinez. Martinez. I got the bobblehead, oh, man. You, wait, you was a bobblehead night? It was bobblehead oh, night, man. <laughs> I, had t- I have that's Tino so and Chapman sick. now, but I think I might hit Chapman with a bat. So. That's so sick. Yeah, I I have the CC Sabathia one, so maybe I'll, so I'll, I'll give you that to put in your That's collection. so far. We should try and go to the – they're doing like a Darth Vader, Derek Jeter day. We that's, should go to that That'll one. sell for a lot of money. Oh, yeah. We should go. <laughs> like you could sell. I'm fucking yeah. keeping mine. Yeah, no, I would keep mine as well. But, uh, All yeah. right, so we're going to try and go back and forth. So Yanks had four games, so now you just did the first two. I'm going to hit – hit you with one of the Mets. Um, I would say that this was probably the worst pitched baseball game that we're going to watch for a ever? while. Yeah, yeah maybe, maybe ever. ever. <laughs> um, shout out to that guy. I, I forget his name. I think his name is James Kaplan, I think is how you say it. But former Yankees first round pick, I, I think. No, for, former Yankees draft pick. We gave up a lot. Got traded to the Yankees for who did you get? It was Montas from It was the probably in the Orioles. Mo- it, or the uh, athletics. I'm athletics. sorry. Yeah, Oakland, we, we got Montas and Trevino. So it was probably yeah. that package deal. So he was in that deal, and uh, shout out to him because he blessed us, and the whole uh, Oakland pitching staff did as well. We got to see uh, Mets fans will know this. Jerry's familia what a guy. come in and also walk the ballpark. So <laughs> the Oakland pitchers gave up 17 walks, 17 earned runs. Um, with Lindor hits. tying a career high of seven uh, RBIs for him. And that's the most Damn. interesting stat, Nardi, that the Athletics actually out-hit the Mets in that game. Yes, they did. 13 to 11 hits, and we won. You can't throw 120 yeah. balls in <laughs> one game. I don't physically know how that was possible. Yeah. But the Athletics somehow managed to throw 120 yeah. balls. Yeah. And we, we were getting the scouting report that their pitchers have the highest DRA, the worst in the league, whatever, whatever. But that was above expectations. And I can't imagine, which is this is the upsetting part, that we're going to score 17 runs again this year. <laughs> like that's probably the most we're going to score this year. And, yeah. and I guess that's a little sad. So it's only down from here. All, the Athletics, yeah. I think we talked about this in episode one or two. They're definitely the worst team sure. in baseball. I can say that They're probably the worst organization sure. in baseball, yeah. too. But so shout out to the fans. No, yeah, all 2,000 of them. <laughs> and but, they're uh, out there making They're noise going crazy. The, the terrible towel, man. I don't know. They're just <laughs> the one drunk dude who sits in the outfield. But Yeah, they had a lot of dressed up attire, yeah. a lot of music. You can bring full trumpets, <laughs> trombones into that stadium, they're, no problem. They're just trying to get any form of attendance, yeah. man. I, so, well, I don't be surprised if, that, like, <laughs> if they move in a few years. But, yeah. So this is like with the athletics, they're another team. They're 31, they have 31 more runs given up than the next closest team in the MLB. I don't know the exact number, <sighs> wow. but I know it's 31 more than the next closest team. Yeah. They're getting shelled. That's a lot. And speaking of, like you were saying, like they might – they're losing so much money. They might get they the sponsor of the field pulled out of the deal when we were playing. So they had to take like the whatever like MetLife Stadium <laughs> off the thing. They had to take it off. <laughs> and it's named Ricky Anderson Field now. I don't know what game it was, yeah, but the Mets it. broadcasters weren't allowed to sit yeah, in their the, booth. All three of them they couldn't, they couldn't sit, sit in the booth because of the an possum. <laughs> Yeah. I, McNeil and Lindor put it there. Yeah, it, it, it wasn't a raccoon; it was a possum. Yeah, so it the was, fight from last year carried over. It flew on the team oh, plane. Yeah. <laughs> it's like I never saw it in New York City <laughs> rat before. They literally got kicked out of the booth because yeah. they couldn't. Sit they there. said it's. They said like it. It pooped all over and it like stunk and they couldn't get in. But when they were showing the picture of the booth, there was like a poor camera guy <laughs> and they were like, "This is wrong." The Mets camera member. guy was yeah. stuck in there, man. Yeah. Wait, you saw that clip too? Yeah, yeah. I watched the whole so clip. He was stuck there, man. And he was like making a face, but that was like they were like 
I don't know what the word is, but they were like taking so long to tell the story yeah. that he's just making a face and you're like, okay, like maybe they're, it wasn't ready or whatever. And then they said that. I'm like, this poor guy's breathing <laughs> in it for two he's and a half stuck, hours. He's stuck with the yeah. animal crap like, in there. What right? about him? Like move the camera. Who cares? Ooh, sorry, but it's just um, athletics field for you. Right there. Yeah. So I'll, I'll quickly do game two as well. Mm-hmm. After that first game, uh, when you look at the ERA of the two pitchers that were pitching in our in our middle game, you expect it. Oh, God. What happened? The camera stopped recording. When? I don't know. <laughs> when? I don't know, but this is going to have to be a. Holy. We might gonna, do audio only. Yeah, we're going to have to do audio only. Game two. Well, what? they watch for this haircut. I oh, hope you saw that. <laughs> hey, it's a, whatever happens, happens. But, uh, we'll we'll figure out something to put over. It's yeah, not a big yeah. deal. Yeah, we'll put the picture of all of us. So anyways, second game, you'd think it would be worse pitch. Cookie's coming into the game with an 11.7 ERA, and the starting pitcher for the Athletics, can't remember his first name, but his last name was Fujinama, had a 17.4 ERA. <laughs> He was he's a rookie this year, right? I don't know. I think he's another one. Like I think a, he's another I don't yeah. want to say that it's, it's gonna sound horrible, but I think he's another Jap that came over. Yeah. <laughs> he's a Jap. Yeah. He's a, it's him and Sanga. Because I think I remember seeing something about his debut. He had a right debut and then got shelled in a second game or something. Yeah, they wanted them to kind of pitch against each other, I know they said, because they are both from Japan. But mm-hmm. that ended up being the lowest scoring game of the three. Final was three to two. Pete hit his seventh home run in that game. Uh, followed by a big uh, uh, double by Nimmo in the seventh to to win that one. And um, Nardi, let's hear about game three for the Yanks. Okay. So game three, uh, Domingo Herman bounce back game. Um, so I'm pretty sure Herman had 10 strikeouts this game. Wow, fantastic. He, he played really well. First inning, or I think it was the third inning. Um, Rocco, I forgot his name, Rocco something, the Twins head coach. Thought that her mom had something on his fingers because he sucked the last three games, and now all of a sudden he's pitching lights out. So the umpire, her mom doesn't speak a word of English, sure. even though he's been in New York for however long. So you they, could get by. Yeah, they needed a translator to come out, and they were trying to like figure out what was wrong with his yeah. fingers. But they found out it was the rosin bag. Mm-hmm. So if you guys don't know, the rosin bag is basically a bag of. I don't even know. I don't, I don't know what it is. <laughs> I don't know what it is. Yeah, I was but it's like it's something on the mound me. to help pitchers get better grip. And um, you can pick it up, shake it in your hands. It looks like there's powder in it or something. Yeah, yeah. So, but Trevor Bauer made a video where if you mix it, like if you're sweating, it was hot in New York. It, for the last weekend here in New Jersey, it's been like. Yeah, it was very hot. It was like 90 degrees in April. It's really never happened before. It's but very hot. If you mix it with sweat, it gets really sticky. And it's almost like you have pine tar in your hands or something so they were checking it out and they figured out that it was that's what it was and for some reason the twins head coach f- i don't buy it <laughs> Thank you, and, and for some reason the twins head coach freaked the fuck out sure i don't blame him and he uh he got tossed in the third inning oh the coach got tossed the coach got tossed her mom was good they, with they let her mom go back in they found out what they they figured what he thought was wrong with the translator. I don't know if it was because he didn't speak English and he was just like, "No, I'm." I'd like he, he yeah. threw twenty bucks on the floor or something and was like, yeah. "No, I'm." But he, he somehow he got away with whatever he was doing, got back on the mound, and uh, I think he pitched six or seven innings. He pitched great. Yeah, shout out to they him. All played really well. The Yankees ended up winning that game six one. Um, I think Rizzo hit another home run that game. Yeah. So we had three. Uh, well, three home runs a series. Uh, they did really well. Um, the game, that was a good game. I was getting my hair cut. That's how I was getting my hair cut while that game was on. <laughs> this all happened while I was sitting in the barber chair. We delayed my haircut to figure out why Rocco was freaking out. Really? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh. It was like, curveball. So, should, do, do you want to do game three? Yeah, yours? I'll yeah. do game three because you wrap it up. You got yeah, it. Go you got it. a good one. Um, game three for the Mets was the first extra innings. A little bit of free baseball for the New York Mets. Uh, unfortunately, to start this one, Mad Max, who was supposed to pitch, got pushed back. Is he uh, hurt? Little injury. He's going to miss just one start. He's pitching on Wednesday. Um, but I understand you got to manage the old heads, but it just you hate to see it. Mm. Three starts in. He's got an issue already. What's the, uh, what's the deal with Verlander, too? When's he back? Hopefully by the beginning of next month. That's good. But, again, listen, I know both these guys are going to miss a couple starts throughout the year, and I get that, but it's just I'd like to see it midseason where I'm like, okay, you're allowed to be. But um, we were actually losing that game going into the top of the ninth inning, and who else but the future NL 2023 MVP but Pete Alonzo to hit his eighth league leading, may I say, eighth home run in the top of the ninth inning to push us 
to play some extra baseball where, again, a couple walks got Oakland in trouble. And just to cap off the series of blessings from Oakland, giving us three free wins after not letting us sweep them when we needed to last year to get into the playoffs, a wild pitch to score in the 10th inning. David Robertson comes in, shuts it down. Nardi also called this last week. We break out the brooms onto L.A. Bats are still kind of cold, but we won three games. So let's let's win yeah. two out of three. So – just because you're being cocky, so Pete Lonzo's going to win fucking MVP. I'm not here. Yeah, I'm going to say this. Go ahead. Since you're bragging about one player, I'm bragging about my whole team. We're the That's only fair. team left That's in the MLB that has not been swept or sure. we've won every series, one or split every series. That's Last fair. team remaining. But game four going on, Garrett Cole. I'll hear. I'll hype him up. No. Oh, Future. Cy Young. Hey, a camera <laughs> died again, by the way. No. <laughs> Cy Young winner. <laughs> Never won it before. I said it in the week one. I said it in the first podcast. He oh. is on fire. Yeah. I showed you my scripts. Trey Turner, unfortunately, looks like shit right now. Yeah, but everybody else is looking good. Fire. But Garrett Cole goes in after getting beat up by the Twins this series. Pitchers, man. Garrett Cole comes in says, I'm going to eat my banana in the dugout. I'm going to smack you around with it. I'm going to put you on the field, pitch nine innings. Shout out. I don't know how many strikeouts he had. I forgot. Ten but Ten or 11. For the season, get my note, Garrett Cole is 4-0 with a .95 ERA, 28 innings pitched, 32 strikeouts in four games. Has not lost the game. He's finally getting some run support. Yeah. Unfortunately, as you're talking about old heads, Stanton, who might be, who actually might be our oldest starter. Like I'm trying to think. I don't think anybody's older than him. Interesting. Um, pulls his hammy, hitting a old. double. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I don't know what his hamstrings are made of. String cheese, bro. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know what the hell the problem is, but he his hamstrings are always a problem with him. Yeah. So we put him on the 10 day IL. We bring up Oswaldo Peraza, who last year hit 302 with us for 18 games. Yeah, it did well. So although, which is weird because. Mm. Last year, we went from having no outfielders to an abundance of outfielders. But and now that our outfielders are still starting, we bring up an infielder yeah. with our outfielder hurt. Sure. So I don't know what that's about or where he's going to play unless they're going to give IKF some the playing time in center that he was nice. doing in spring training. Nice. So. We like but, him. Um, yeah, so Yankees have Angels next, three-game home series. Nice. I think Otani's on the bump tomorrow. Pitched today, but he only pitched two innings. Oh, he pitched today? So, and oh, two innings. It was like a rain delay, and they took uh, him out. So, yeah, I so don't know. Maybe that, they maybe want he to won't. pitch him against the Yanks. Maybe he won't. Camera shut off again. Oh, my battery's dead now. <laughs> now it's the battery. First it's the SD. Now it's the battery. Is this F4? Jeez, yeah. Series 4, F4. You know what? We're going to find a video of what monkeys look like dancing around, because that's what this kid just did in his fucking chair when he saw the thing shut off. <laughs> but... <laughs> <laughs> so sort of we gotta like find some audio. Yeah, we're gonna find some form of picture to put over. Ah, whatever. But, uh, It'll be better next time. That's all. I'll say. This is good. I still think this is a good episode. It was. Why. It's good for us. It's not good. Maybe for we should uh, get fucking someone to animate. <laughs> 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 Pay some bum on Fiverr like, two bucks to animate an episode. But uh, <laughs> some chap on five. <laughs> on five. <laughs> Yeah, All right. That's Thank it. you, everybody, for listening to Winter Circle Sports Podcast. <laughs> Sorry for the no video this episode, but uh, yeah, it's <laughs> off again. It's <laughs> fucking off again. We we get, you off. get what you get. You don't get upset around these parts. So uh, the mic sounds good, though. So we got I the, the mic the recorded. Good, we got yeah. a nice little as audio. As soon as we click stop, it's gonna <laughs> nice little, like little. You know, <laughs> nice little audio setup. But uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching. See you next time. Yeah.